Three days ago, this prison on the outskirts of Cairo was a no-go zone for the outside world. But on Saturday, in the chaos that followed Egypt's day of rage, looters broke in. They set the building on fire and freed thousands of inmates. We found prisoners inside the prison grounds. They told us they're not leaving. Some because they're due for release and are afraid of being caught outside and being resentenced. Others for more personal reasons. I'm staying here until I finish my sentence. After six years, I will go and be a free man with pride. I won't go home and risk my children seeing me being taken away. This used to be the prison's control room. The guards described to us what they saw happen on Saturday. We spent two hours trying to fight them off, but the looters have better weapons. They were Arabs from the Sinai. The soldiers were being fired on from everywhere. Many of them died in the battle. Everywhere we went, rooms were looted and scorched. So this is the area where prisoners sleep, and this is where they were on Saturday night when the break-in happened. All in all, this prison holds about 3,200 inmates in this very room. We're told there were 30 prisoners asleep on Saturday morning. You can see that the steel door is still holding, so the looters and those who broke in actually broke around the door to let the inmates out. But not everyone escaped. Eyewitnesses told us dozens of inmates died trying to leave the prison. The guards insist they're not leaving the prisoners here. With nowhere to go, they find themselves in the midst of this uprising, agreeing with its aim, but afraid of its consequences.